What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 19 of season 2 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is JB Gaming. You see this number right here? You see this 67, Chad? I do see that, yeah. Is it blurry still? No, I see that. That is a disgrace to everything... No, I'm not even happy. I'm not even mad about a 67. I'm mad that Scott Norton is about to take on Mark Henry at the world uh, at the pay per view, and he got an 18 in his last fucking match. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's start the f- fuck you, Scott Norton. You're not even in a promo tonight. Shane McMahon defeats Big Boss Man in 824 with the Mac Daddy Elbow. Daddy Elbow. I, if my finishing move, if I had one, it would be called the Mac Daddy Elbow as well. Ooh. And uh, the Headbangers defeat the Rock and Roll Express in 828 with a stage dive. Uh, Mosh, and, Mosh and Mosh number two, 55 and 57. They're not, they're not terrible. They're, they're not bad. We start off Monday Night Raw with a recap, a replay, or whatever highlight package of what happened last week with Lesnar and Orton taking out not only Vince McMahon, but he also they also take out Liger, Christian, and Taka Michinoku. Um, Vince McMahon hits the ring, and he's uh, he's got a neck brace on, Chad. He's hurt. He took an F5 from the Beast himself Brock Lesnar and uh you know he says this is this is enough all right I'm Vince McMahon damn it I'm not gonna let these three hooligans run rampant through my show through my company through my baby boy Monday Night Raw Brock Tyson or I know you're back there I know you can hear me right now so tonight you guys will be in the main event in a handicap match I'm sick and tired of you guys thinking you can do whatever you want. I'm the head on show. I'm the boss here, and I'm going to show you why. Tonight, it'll be Lesnar and Orton taking on the three men they beat up last week. It'll be Taka, Christian, and Jushin Thunder Liger teaming up to take on Future Shock, Lesnar, and Orton, and Tyson. Just you wait. Um, when I'm healed, I'm coming after you. I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Uh, he doesn't even know. He doesn't. I'm gonna bite your ear off, like you did that one guy. Off. Yeah, remember when Tyson bit off? Well, I think it was Holyfield's ear. Oh yep, yep. <laughs> Yep, 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 uh, yep, uh, yep, uh, yep, and, uh, yep, oh, and yep. indubitably, I do remember that indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we start off the show with our big boy Lenny Lane defeating Spike in a five thirty three with a memory lane. I think this is the same match we had last week. Did I rebook this on accident? Doesn't matter. Lenny Wayne wins in five thirty three. They have great chemistry. Yeah, it was the same match. Fuck me. I'm sorry, boys. Uh, Primo and Epico. Are walking down to the ring. Primo has a singles match with tag team champion Sultan. Epico is just trying to warm him up. And in a decent match, Sultan defeats Primo and Tenno three with the big splash. Maybe, maybe these guys aren't ready for the tag team belts yet, Chad. <laughs> Sultan with a big splash and a big win over Primo. We move on. It's oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's Rock and Stasiak. Chad, these guys go to war in six days at Unforgiven for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. The, oh, man. Stasiak tells Rock. Rock's not here tonight. He's not here in uh, the, the, the Spectrum Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Stasiak said, you know, it was his, it was his childhood dream to win the the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. He's he grew up watching his dad, Stan Stasiak, you know, travel the world, travel the, the the country, wrestling, and he wanted to be just like him. He not only he just like him, he wanted to be better than his father. And at WrestleMania 2000, he did just that when he captured the the, the world title. 
now he's you know he's gone through a little rough patch. It's, and it's because he does he hasn't had his eyes on the prize, Chad. You know he's he's got future shock watching behind watching Stasek himself behind uh, over his shoulders. They're watching him, and so he's always been paranoid. Especially you know he's, he lost to Triple H at the King of the Ring. You know he lost to Liger in the bracket itself. He's had a difficult run because he's got someone always behind him. But now, for one night only, he says he's going to defeat. He's going to go in there. He's going to tune out. He's going to zone out all every all the background noise, and he's going to go in there and he's going to go <laughs> show the Rock why he is the world heavyweight champion. It doesn't matter how many accolades, how many promises the Rock is going to make to himself. Stasiak said he's, he didn't come this far just to lose it all now. He says, Rock, you better bring your A game because at Unforgiven, I'm not letting go of this belt. Stasiak and Rock, Chad. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. It's going to be my fifth 100-rated match. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, uh, we move on. King IK and Mark Mara. Mark Mara, new picture. Good for him. I didn't even change that. Good for him. Uh, they did actually defeat the Stash of the Stud when Ikea pinned Stash. Is that going to be a sign for things to come at the pay-per-view? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? <coughs> Time these, will tell. These three are getting ready. For their match backstage, Christian Cage is trying, or Liger, not Christian. Liger is trying to uh, ease the nerves of Christian and Taka. They're not. I mean, look, Brock and Randy. We we know how dominant these guys are. But Jushin's trying to calm the nerves of these two young rookies because Jushin is the veteran of this group. The you know the the ring leader, the the the, the ring generalist. You know, and he's trying to calm the nerves. They got a big match tonight against Brock and Randy in our main event. And, God, that match might suck. I have no idea. We're going to find out later. Speaking of later, JBL, Yauko, Zuna. JBL getting 66s. Hmm. That push six months ago is finally pushing off. <laughs> JBL uh, hits a powerbomb on the big man from Japan, Yoko Zuna, in 10-11 with a powerbomb. Good win. For JBL. Um, and the the other match, Carlito and Joey Matthews. We saw Primo lose to Sultan, but Carlito pins Joey Matthews with a big boot, Chad. And this this win right here is enough to grant the Shining Stars a tag team match in six days for the belts. It will be the Shining Stars taking on Firehouse. Carlito saves the day. Maybe these guys are worth a damn a little bit. Huge. Huge win. <laughs> Stone Cold and Kane. It's just uh, reassuring that Stone Cold and Kane are are still on. Uh, they're still not medically cleared tonight. Um, you know, they, they said this would be a perfect time to whoop some ass, but they're not medically cleared. But but in due time, they will come out here and they will rain hell. On Lesnar, Austin, or Lesnar, Orton, and Tyson. And Kane says, oh, yeah. All right, main event of the night. I got an 80. Oh. Uh, about that, a good wrestling and decent reaction for the crowd. Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton defeat Liger Cage and uh, or Christian and Taka when Lesnar pins Taka with an overhead belly-to-belly. Big, big win for future shock. These three just can't get it done because these two are dominant, Chad. Absolutely dominant. Liger at 96. Taka at 90. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> after the match. Big win. After the match, though, Chad. The lights go out. Ooh. Who's in the ring? The men that <laughs> said they weren't going to be here. Stone Cold and Kane are here. It was a trick. They lied. They, they bamboozled Future Shock. And for the first time, someone has gotten... Some offense, some uh, some pause, some beatdown on uh, Orton and Lesnar as Austin and Kane send Orton, uh, send Future Shock running to the back. For the first time ever, we've seen that these guys have, you know, they're not, in, you know, they're not unstoppable. Unstoppable. They're not impenetrable. These guys are human, and and Austin and Kane reign. They stand. They stand strong to end the show, Chad. So there we go. That is Monday Night Raw. 85. Damn, we stink. 
Raw's been struggling, and it's because I have Kaka and Christian in my main event scene right now. But it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter because I know Unforgiven is about to be an absolute heater of a show, an all-time classic. Remember, we have to defend the Show of the Year award, so... Got a lot of things to live up to, Chad. We'll see you for Nitro. You got any uh, any secrets? Any any tall tales? Uh, <laughs> we are at the go homes to bash at the beach, Justin. What a pay per view we have in store, and what an episode of Nitro we have tonight. This is this is something else, Chad. I've seen some of your shows, and this one, this one ain't it, bro. This one ain't it. This is gonna be it's gonna be okay. great. What do you mean? We gotta move it because uh, we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna go to the we can't run it in the same spot every time. Let's go to the Mobile Alabama Mitchell Center. There we go. Right on. Right on. All right, here we go. Ahmed versus Kip James is how we start off Nitro. We're doing it with a match and in a good match. Kip James, some would still call this an upset, Justin. He defeated Ahmed with a pile driver. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess. And after the match, Jericho. So, so Too Cool's dancing, right? And then Jericho, he comes out and he says, listen, Too Cool, you know, <clears throat> since you guys aren't going to Bash at the Beach and we don't have a match at Bash at the Beach, and you just beat Ahmed, let's see if you guys could beat me. How about this? How about two of you pick on me and Ahmed Bash at the Beach? And uh, Too Cool, you know, they look at each other and they, uh, they agree. So Too Cool versus the best of the best at Bash at the Beach, Justin. Yeah, that is a that's a match. Match. This is, oh boy. Oh, We've no. got a match. Sean O'Hare makes his in-ring debut against Lord of War, and in about that had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat. Lord of War defeated Sean O'Hare by pinfall. I just wanted to see how well he would do. He got a thirty-five. Got a thirty-five. So you can write Not that. terrible. Write that down and do with what you want with it. He's not terrible. No, not terrible. Not great either, though. OD is backstage, and he has a, he has a, a picture. He's holding the picture, and the picture says, I bet you all forgot that, that I'm fighting Rick Rude at Bash at the Beach. Yeah, we did. He takes, an, uh, he takes that sign. <laughs> he's been on TV in two weeks. Holding another, and he's holding another sign. He says, that's because Rick Rude hasn't shown up on TV in the last few weeks. He's been ducking low D. He takes another picture down he's holding another sign he says but don't worry because at bash at the beach low d is going to kick rick rude's ass because rick rude is nothing more than a little bitch who's scared who's scared of low d he takes another one and then the next one is just a picture of uh rick rude and a very unflattering caricature getting beaten up by low d and it makes everyone laugh and then he takes another one and the other picture is rick rude is scared of low d and then he has another one. And it says, Rick Rude knows he can't beat Low D. There's another one. And then it says, Rick Rude smells like dog poop. That's and true. that is the final picture as the crowd laughs. And Low D uh, then takes the picture down and he says, I'll see you at Bash at the Beach, Rick Rude. Smells like dog poop, he said. He did, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> We got a match. Owen Hart taking on Diamond Dallas Page, and in about that had um, exceptional wrestling and fantastic heat. Owen Hart defeated Diamond Dallas Page in seventeen thirty seven with pinfall. Great chemistry. Owen pulling a hundred. <laughs> DDB ninety two. Shivani. I once again fucks you over. We should fire Tony Shivani. He's just a pretty. He's pretty weak. Or at the very least, move him to like backstage and an- announce him. You, it's your show. Your show. I'll think about it. Oh, backstage, this is just Steiner and Nash. They're uh, they're hyping up their tag team match against Ray and, and RVD. You know, they say, you know, last week there was a stare down. Last week there was a stare down between Ray and RVD. They're each other's heads. They don't want the other one to win. Me and Nash, we're brothers. We're tag team. We're former tag team champions. And they two sweet each other. He says, I don't give a damn which one of us gets the win. I just care that one of us do. We're a team. They're not. And at Bash at the Beach, we're going to show once again why the Syndicate is the best group in wrestling and why the Syndicate is going to kick Limitless' ass 
and we're gonna keep our titles until we decide to give them up, which is gonna be, spoiler alert, Kev, never! Steiner spoiling Bash the Beach. Guys, you don't need to watch it. Come watch Unforgiven, where there's no spoilers. You don't know who's gonna win. You don't know who's gonna pop up and show up. <laughs> Chad's... You never know who could pop up at WCW either. Like Megan, <laughs> Megan Foley. He's got a 90. Oh, yeah. Foley got a 98. Yeah, wow. Oh, they got great chemistry. <laughs> wow. Wow, wowza. And about that great wrestling and good heat, Mick Foley defeated Meng with a double arm DDT. Good for Mick Foley. Haven't seen him around in a couple of weeks. Yeah, oh, yeah. What's, what's his deal, Chad? Where'd he go? He's been off TV. Why? No, it has been. Listen, your stars don't need to all be on TV every week, Justin. Oh, you're going to tell me that? <laughs> uh, Canyon and awesome, you know. He's like, listen, I, I saw Raven talk to you last week. Listen, Mike, I just, I want you to know. Raven's not your friend. Raven doesn't give a single shit about you, Mike. I'm your friend. I care about Mike Awesome. And that's why, I, like, listen, I'm not asking you to be in my corner. I bash at the beach. I'm not asking you to betray Raven. I'm just asking you to consider it, to think about it, and and do what you truly believe in your heart to be the right move. Because Mike, you're not a you're not an idiot, and you know that as long as you stay in the flock, you're just going to stand in Raven's shadow. And me and you, we're both better than that. So Mike, please do do what's best, not for me, but do what's best for yourself. Stand up to Raven. Leave the flock. Put it behind you and try to and make your career something. Like awesome. You know, he 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 doesn't say he all he says is, Chris, I consider you a friend. And I consider Raven a friend. I have to think about. But I will let you know. I will let you know. I'll make sure nothing happens outside of a wrestling match. You just like I'll make sure nothing happens outside of a wrestling match, Raven. You know, either one of you try something. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure you guys, whatever you have going on, you guys settle it in the ring, and you fight. Because sometimes friends need to fight. And uh, Chris Canyon, you know, he he looks and he says, "Raven's not your friend." But listen, I appreciate you saying you have you know, that you'll you'll make sure no funny business happens. And he shakes Mike Austin's hand. That's the segment. <laughs> We're backstage, sixth and Stardust. We're just hanging out, and uh, Scott Hall comes in and he goes, "Hey yo!" And uh, Hall and Star, Six and Stardust, you know, they look up and he says, "Listen, I got, I got big, I got big news. I got big news. Listen, a bash at the beach. There's gonna be a a, a bikini contest between three of the hottest women on the WCW roster and Six and Stardust. You know, they're like, no, that's awesome, but like." Why, 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 why are you telling us this? He says, because guess who? I, guess who just scored jobs as the three guests of the bikini contest? And Stardust and Six, they go, uh, too cool. I was like, no. Stardust goes, hmm, uh, is it right to censor? No. Yeah, you're right. It wouldn't be them. Why would they do that? That sounds completely off brand for something right to censor would do. Hmm. Well, Sunday Kid's been in everything. Are they doing it? No. Listen, it's gonna be us. Bad guys, Scott Hall, Six and Stardust. We're we're judging the bikini contest. And and Six, no, Six is like, oh hell yeah, hell yeah, and they like high five. And Stardust just faints. <laughs> you say he just faints? He just he just faints. He just faints. He passes out from excitement. And Six and Scott Hall look at each other and they go, "What's his problem?" And I was like, "I don't know. Listen, we'll work on it. We'll work on it." Yeah. Ju- St- Hall 6 and Stardust are judging the bikini contest that bets the beach, Justin. Wow, they have really just fallen off. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Billy Kidman and Christopher Daniels are facing off in a match tonight and an about the head great wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Christopher Daniels defeats Billy Kidman uh, with the last rights. Yeah, a banger of a match right there. 83. Chris Daniels, AJ Styles. Six days. Who's gonna walk out champion? Probably me. Walk out champ. 
AEW. Lester Stallone, he gets in the ring and he says, listen, everyone's asking me, am I scared of this, uh, of my match at Bash of the Beach? And the answer is no, I'm a movie star. I'm not scared of anything. And listen, just to show everyone how serious I am about this match, and you'll notice that I'm not in a suit like normal. I'm in my boxing shorts. That's because tonight I'm the main event. I'm booking an open challenge. Anyone in the back that wants to try to ret to that wants to try to box with God, here's your opportunity. Come down in the ring if you if you have the guts to go one on one against the South Paw himself. I wonder. And, uh, I wonder who it's gonna be. All of a sudden, Hulk Hogan's music hits, and Stallone, his eyes get wide, and he looks terrified. He's like, no, 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 not him, not him, not him. But it's too late. The match has already started. Hulk Hogan comes out, and he answers the, oh, God, this main event. Uh. <laughs> An exceptional match. Hulk Hogan defeated Sylvester Stallone by pinfall after China interferes and knocks uh, Sylvester Stallone in the face. And Justin... This was for the 24-7 title. Hulk Hogan is the 24-7 champion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> At and least it pulls match, 100 ending. China, China and Hogan celebrate in the ring to end the show. This is a, this is a weird universe right now. <laughs> Ooh, an 83, Chad. Even on one of my... 80... Even hey, at a, least it wasn't a 67, though. Yeah, but it looks like Raw. Another one for the good guys. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Raw beats Nitro once again. Wow. Wow. Un Bowser. Unbelievable. We'll see you for SmackDown. We'll see you for Thunder. Chad? Any, 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 any tidbits? Any stock advice? Any stock advice? I don't think you want me giving you stock advice. You heard it here first. Chad is poor. That's right, everyone. This is SmackDown. Are you having a bad day, Justin? Are you feeling SmackDown? Well, guess what? We'll turn your SmackDown into a, and your Smack Frown into Upside Down and make it a Smack Smile. We are here. Then go home. Wow, I'm having such a Smack Frown time. I can't wait to watch my favorite WCW show, Thunder. I'm sure. Don't worry. That's Do you coming. see what I did gotta, there? We gotta, Do you see what I did there, through, Chad? We gotta get through SmackDown first. Did you see what I did there? What'd you do? I said thunder, not thunder. Fun der. Oh yeah, cause it's fun der. Do you get it? I get it. Yeah. Chad, do you get it? Ah! <laughs> better. Guys, I don't know if Chad's there or not. I laughed. Chad, are you still there? Yeah. All right, I guess I'm gonna go on without Chad here on SmackDown. Did you actually not hear me? We start. I didn't gimmick. even. This is a gimmick. You can I hear me. Didn't even book a pre-show. You in can this. hear me, Eric Bischoff. You can hear me. I'm just gonna keep talking because I know you can hear me. Because yeah, fuck you. You can hear me. <laughs> how do I figure? How do I get him back? Ignore me like that. How do I get? I gotta Google. Sorry, guys. I gotta figure out how where Chad went. Oh, you actually can't hear me? Let me... I gotta text him. All right, let's just keep going. Eric Bischoff, um... Uh, you hear me now? He's, uh... He, he books this match. Um... Oh, he's responding. I, I No, I cannot hear you, you goofball. You hear me now? I said, I asked him, are you there? And he says, you can't hear me? I wouldn't fucking ask if I couldn't hear him. What an idiot. I Sometimes, like, I, he's probably going to watch this video. But, like, he's the absolute worst human being of all time. Like, Chad, I can hear you. It's fine. <laughs> Chad, I can hear you. <laughs> I think I scared him. Yes, I could hear you the whole time. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You're a dick. I hate you. Ooh. I knew you. Ah, another, oh. another one for the I, good guys. I knew you could because I said, well, fine, if you can't hear me, I'm just going to talk over you the whole time. And then you stopped. So I was like, oh, he hears me. But you no, know, you're acting. Justin, you should win an Academy Award for your acting. Another one for the good guys. Oh, you ribbed me, brother. What can I say? <laughs> 
What I hate can, you. What can I say? We need to rely on cheap tricks to are entertain you, our fans you because your show stinks. <laughs> Suck my dick, Chad. Your show stinks. Let's go, what's going on in this promo? I don't even remember. That whole gimmick just threw me off. <laughs> Move on. They're in a main event match tonight. That's what happened. Uh, we get a uh, uh, another one-on-one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one -on -one match uh, between the four uh, four members of the four tag teams that'll be in the SmackDown tag team match for the belts at Unforgiven. It is Danielson. It is Roadkill making his return back to the ring. It is Tony Mamaluke. It is Violent J. And this match did a bad when Brian Danielson wins with a cattle mutilation. Violent J stinks. P.J. Black. He tells Kid Cash he doesn't need Stephanie McMahon to win matches. And at Unforgiven, you will see that <laughs> firsthand when he dominates and wins back his United States Championship. He uh, actually wrestles a game over here and he gets a 70. P.J. Black gets the win in 834. Big match for P.J. Black. And then he does the same promo again right after. Don't know why I booked it twice. Whoopsie. Uh, Ric Flair defeats Gangrel. Taps him out with the figure four in 1024. Ric Flair, figure four, 1024. Mm -hmm. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. And he says. Informed. And he really, and then he gets on the mic. It puts over Rhino. He really says he's the future of this company. You know, he's an athletic freak with an absolute brutal finishing move called the gore. And Ric Flair says... Uh, and a dump truck ass. <laughs> and an absolute bookshelf of a tuckus. <laughs> uh, we move over. It's Luger and Test. Luger taps out Test in 919 with a torture rack. A lot of tap out submission wins here on Friday night. Tap down. Get it? I get it. <laughs> Did I hit next segment? Oh, it's Bam Bam and Stevie Ray, and Bam Bam hits a power bomb and wins in 10.04. This fucking SmackDown stinks. It's going to be quick. It's going to be right to the point. Uh, Undertaker, uh, we, are, we are shown, uh, is fueling up his bike, and he is taking his bike to Unforgiven. It is him and Del Santo one-on-one -on -one for the number one contendership for the World Heavyweight Championship, Chad. And then our main event tonight, it's Road Dog and Triple H taking on Booker and Eddie. <coughs> Booker and Eddie win after Road Dog and Triple H leave. They just, they just, they're like, I don't want to fucking do this oh, anymore. They just said, actually, fuck you. They said, fuck this. I'm saving my energy. Uh, Booker T beats down Road, Kill, Road Dog on the, uh, on, the, on the entrance rep. And Eddie throws Triple H back into the ring, hits him with a, a nice little suplex to triple the three amigos and hits the frog splash and stands tall right before the Iron Man match in Unforgiven. And that is SmackDown a 90. Huge. Huge, huge SmackDown. No popularity, King James, because we're that damn good. Chad, we'll see you for Thunder. Oh, what's up, guys? We're back with Thunder. Here we are. Justin, are you excited for Thunder? No. Luckily, everyone else will be. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm to go home a bash at the beach. Yeah, this will be this will be a fun show, I think. I think you so. might pull a hundred out in the main event. We'll see. You might. You might. I might. I, will weird, I, I, have, will, might I have a weird feeling about it tonight. Wait, you think you think today's the day? Yeah. Let's find out. Sylvester Stallone cuts a promo and listen. He's a. Uh, he got bandages all over him. He comes down, he's on crutches. After his, he says, he says, I, 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 I'm not happy to make this announcement. And as he, like, you can tell, like, as he gets loud, he, like, holds his ribs. Like, oh, he's like, oh, it hurts to yell. He says, unfortunately, after the underhanded beatdown, that, 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 that cretin, that, that, that criminal China gave to me, I, to my doctors and 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 you can tell special load he's, he's he's using his best acting here he's fake crying he says i'm not medically cleared for bash at the beach 
and everyone's like cheering because they didn't want to see him wrestle. I know you're all upset. I know, but don't worry. Because I'm a big believer in show business. The show must go on. China and Hulk Hogan, you're going to team on. You're going to team up and take on Nicole Bass. And you're also going to take on a, a, a wrestler that I have personally just signed today to the roster. It's going to be a mystery. I'm not revealing who it is. But just know, they're debuting at Bash at the Beach. And Hulk, I hope you bring your A game because you're going to need it. And, and don't worry, everyone. I'll, I'll be there ringside. I'll be there ringside. I, I'm going to be there cheering on the good guys, cheering on Nicole Bass, our WCW Women's Championship, a championship and a division that I brought to our great company and our future uh, uh, our future star that I also just signed to our company, taking on the has-been that is Hulk Hogan and, and, and that, 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 that bitch, China. Why do you whisper it? Because he doesn't want to swear. He's on TV. Well, he just did. He said he was quiet. Like, oh, shh. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So Sylvester's out. Who's going to be his replacement, Justin? Interesting. I have no idea. And in a decent match, Alex Wright defeated the Lord of War with an STF. Yeah, yeah. Alex Wright getting, getting, a, getting a win before... before Bash at the Beach when he takes on D. Malenko and Steven Regal in a triple threat match. Mean Gene is here. He says, Rob Van Dam, we are in your home. We are in your home state of Michigan. Battle Creek in Grand Rapids. That's like next door neighbors. And Rob Van Dam's like, I mean, not really. Anyway, uh, so so listen, you're in the main event tonight. You're taking on a you're, you're, you're taking on a member of the syndicate. It was a syndicate member of your choice. Who are you taking on? And he was like, yeah, I decided to take on Goldberg. You know, uh, Taz, my, my boy Taz. Taking him on at Bash the Beach. And maybe I'll soften him up for him. You heard it here, folks. That's right. Rob Van Dam taking on Goldberg in tonight's main event. Ooh. Well, maybe I'm wrong about this being under then Goldberg and Rob Van Dam. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe y'all, but maybe you're right. Ah, oh, we've got the rematch. Mick Foley versus Mang. They fought at Nitro when they're fighting tonight. And in about that had great wrestling and good heat. Mang defeats Mick Foley with a tongue and death grip, Justin. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah, Foley getting a 99 and and then Mang gets the win. Yeah. Mick Foley then cuts a promo. Say, just saying hi to everyone right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> just a thumbs up. <laughs> Not it? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, interesting. Oh, man. So, t- Billy Kidman and Taz are in the ring. They were told to get down to the ring because they have a tag team match. And uh, the Michigan fight song starts playing. And they're in Michigan. And Kevin Nash and Scott Steiner wearing Michigan le- Letterman jackets. They they show up to the ring. Of course, Michigan's pride and joy. And, Justin, they actually get a pop on this. The crowd actually cheers them. Hmm. Yeah, and then we get Nash and Steiner versus Billy Kidman and Taz. And then about that had great wrestling and good heat. Nash and Steiner defeat Kidman and Taz when Scott Steiner pinned Billy Kidman with a Frankensteiner. Big match right there. Big match. Big match. Big match. Oh, God. We are backstage and Rick Rude and Low Deer having a street fight, Justin. Why are they fighting in the street? They're fighting in the street. Well, listen, because the... Because there was standing room only at the Van Andel for our sold-out crowd. That they had to take their fight outside. Ain't no damn way they had a fucking standing room only. We've got a triple wow. threat match. These three teams will be squaring off for the tag team titles. And they're facing off tonight one-on-one-on-one. On one on one. Brett versus Sting versus Jeff Hardy. And in an exceptional match, Bret Hart defeated Sting and Jeff Hardy when Brett... Uh, submitted Sting with a sharpshooter. Oh, no. And, uh, yeah, I got a 94, Justin. Why'd you say, oh, no? I do. Well, listen, I didn't think I didn't think Jeff was going to tap out. I didn't think Sting was going to tap out, Jeff but here Hardy, we are. Jeff Hardy is the tag team champion. True, really, you're right. Oh, look at that, Justin. 94. Oh, all right. Mean Gene back again to interview Christopher Daniels. And he just, you know, Christopher Daniels just starts shit-talking AJ Styles. Just listen, I'm going to beat AJ at Bash at the Beach. 
and I'm going to become the cruiserweight champion. And you guys thought AJ Styles' reign has been impressive. Just wait until I'm done. Because guess what? I'm going to defend the championship. Not against guys who should be on the pre-show. I'm going to defend it against real stars. I'm going to walk down to Rey Mysterio. I'm going to slap him in the face. And I'm going to say, come face me for the belt. I'm going to walk down to Dean Malenko. I'm going to kick him in the balls. And I'm going to say, come face me for the belt. When Chef and Hoobie come back, I'm going to challenge them for the belt. I'm taking on the who's who of the cruiserweight division. Not the, not the bottom of the barrel like AJ. Listen, 12, 13, 100 title defenses are impressive. Uh, yeah, that's impressive on paper. If you haven't beaten anybody worth a damn, is it really that impressive? My answer is no. AJ, you face your biggest challenger yet in Christopher Daniels, the fallen angel. And at Bash at the Beach, AJ, your historic cruiserweight title run ends me. Hmm. 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 Oh, speaking of, hmm, Buff Bagwell. Hmm. Dean Malenko versus Buff Bagwell, and about that good wrestling and a decent match from the crowd. Dean Malenko defeated Buff Bagwell for the Texas Cloverleaf. Good for Buff Bagwell. Yeah, tabs him out. Welcome back to the show, buddy. Dean Malenko then cuts a promo, hyping up their triple threat match against Regal and Alex Wright. He says, listen, I'm the best wrestler of those three. I'm going to win, and then I'm moving on to bigger things. You mark my words. The next championship, you see Dean Malenko win. Won't be a tag team title. It'll be a singles belt. And it's not going to be, you know, the hardcore championship, the cruiserweight championship. It's not going to be the TV title. It's going to be much, much, much greater. Ooh, global championship. <laughs> Ooh, I was and way wrong. Our main event in an exceptional match Rob Van Dam defeated Goldberg with a frog splash, Justin. Big, big frog splash for the boy. Big frog splash for Rob Van Dam. <laughs> and then Taz. And then, and then Taz runs out and beats down Goldberg and says, Thought you forgot about me, huh? Thought I forgot about our match? I didn't. And he runs in and starts fighting Goldberg. I for sure forgot about the match. Did you forget about the Go match? Home. I didn't. How could I forget? The <laughs> Go Home for Thunder it got. Oh... Smackdown no. reigns supreme with a 90. Another one for the good guys. Yeah, yeah, listen. Uh, at, least, uh, at, least, at least none of my shows got, you know, below a 70. Oh, if you're worried about the past instead of this week, think again, Chad. Think again. We'll see you for the pay-per-views. I'm going to make a friend.